The Scheme Incorporated, How to Scheme Your Life. In the book, How to Scheme Your Life, the authors from The Scheme Incorporated provide readers with easy-to-understand tips and practical knowledge on various aspects of life, ranging from choosing the perfect wine to investment strategies and career management. As you delve into this book summary, you'll acquire essential insights into various topics, such as kitchen essentials, eco-friendly living tips, improving travel experiences, enhancing networking skills, and more. The book aims to empower readers by demystifying complex concepts and providing accessible information to help improve their understanding of the world around them. Wine Simplified Wine is a source of enjoyment, not stress. Knowing the basics of wine can make you feel comfortable during discussions. Wine is fermented grape juice with the color of wine determined by the skin color of grapes. Tannin is more prevalent in red wine. Swirling wine and taking in air improves the flavor. Some wine terms refer to acidity, which makes it crisp and fresh tasting, while oaky refers to the oak barrel's impact. Overall, this knowledge can help you appreciate wine's distinctiveness. Essential kitchen and eco-friendly must-haves. Every home cook needs a 10-inch skillet, chef's knife, two cutting boards, measuring cups, and a colander. Those interested in adopting a more eco-friendly lifestyle can start with simple actions like using energy-efficient light bulbs, programmable thermostats, and smart power strips to save both energy and money. Sealing windows with weather strips is another easy way to be green. Hassle-free travel and networking. Learn how to skip airport queues with TSA PreCheck, the military role technique for packing, and how to make a networking database. Are you tired of spending hours queuing up for security checks at the airport? Then consider TSA PreCheck, a program that lets you skip long security lines. For $85, you can secure a 5-year membership and avoid the stress of waiting in long airport lines. You'll need to fill out the necessary paperwork and attend an interview, but you can schedule your interview before a scheduled flight. For travelers who mostly travel outside the United States, global entry is the way to go. It costs $100 for a 5-year membership and gives you TSA pre-check benefits as well as the ability to skip customs lines when returning to the United States. Do you want to pack light and wrinkle-free? Try the military roll technique, which involves rolling up your clothes instead of folding them. You can also slip your shoes into shower caps to avoid contamination. Networking can seem overwhelming, but with just a few columns in a spreadsheet, you can create a helpful tool to keep track of your contacts. Include essential information like their name, email, job title, date of last contact, and relevant notes. By touching base quarterly, you can keep your contacts active and ensure that no one falls through the cracks. Make some small tweaks to your travel and networking, and you'll notice a significant impact on your overall experience. Crafting an outstanding resume Your resume is your advertisement to potential employers, and it needs to allocate your work history efficiently with the most recent positions first. Keep it to one page, spell-checked, and saved as .pdf. When crafting your cover letter, make sure to use the first-person narrative while grasping the organization's essence, you're applying to and provide any real data to quantify your achievements. Ensure that your interview skills are on par by practicing with a friend or by yourself with questions and answers. Arrive early and organized, demonstrate your knowledge and curiosity by asking your inquiries. Being a better negotiator Negotiating for better salary and benefits can be stressful, but these tips can help you become a better negotiator. Start by knowing what matters most to you and being prepared with solid statistics and data. To achieve financial security, consider the 50-30-20 rule, which allocates 20% of your paycheck into savings, 30% towards hobbies or entertainment, and 50% to necessities like food and rent. Set up an automatic payment plan with your bank to help you keep track of your savings without having to transfer or touch certain amounts in your checking account. Investing in Property Ownership Basics Starting to save and invest your money can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. 
The first step is to open a brokerage account, which can easily be done online through businesses like Charles Schwab or E-Trade. While it's recommended to get in touch with an advisor to diversify your investments and consider investing in reliable mutual funds, more involved investors may want to consider exchange-traded funds or directly owning stocks. When it comes to property ownership, unless you have enough cash to pay for a home outright, owning will probably mean getting a mortgage and repaying it with interest over time. Renting may be the better option if you can't put down between 10 and 20% of a home's cost right away, in which case it's important to get renter's insurance for peace of mind. A brief history of global conflicts. The world is a complex place with diverse cultures and religions, intertwined politics, and a global economy. To understand today's geopolitics, one must look back to the events that shaped it. The assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand and the subsequent declaration of war by Germany and Austria-Hungary on Serbia triggered World War I. This war saw the death of millions of people, including the Armenians, under the Ottoman Empire, and gave birth to the Sykes-Picot Agreement. The Treaty of Versailles led to Germany's obligation to pay hefty reparations, which in turn led to the rise of the Nazi regime and World War II. The Cold War that followed was a battle between the Communist Soviet Union and capitalist United States. The conflict between Pakistan, India, and China over Kashmir has persisted since Britain's withdrawal from India in 1947. In the same year, Israel was established, leading to the ongoing disputes between Israel and Palestine over land ownership. Major Conflicts of the 20th Century this summary chronicles some of the most significant global conflicts that occurred during the 20th century. It features the apartheid regime of South Africa, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Iranian Hostage Crisis, the Soviet-Afghan War, Operation Desert Storm, and the Iraq War. Each conflict is discussed in detail to provide a broader understanding of the global events that shaped the world's political, economic, and social landscape. Global Alliances The world is divided into various alliances and unions, such as the United Nations, the European Union, the G7, the G20, and NATO, which serve different purposes. The United Nations was created to promote peace and human rights worldwide, while the European Union was established to stabilize economies. The G7, consisting of seven industrialized nations, works on matters related to security, energy, and the economy, while the G20, comprising finance and banking representatives from 20 countries, deals with similar issues. NATO, a security coalition of 29 countries, was formed to counter the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Despite these alliances, various issues, such as religious differences, threaten peaceful relations within and among countries. Understanding the intersection between nationalism, populism and the Electoral College the rise of nationalism and populism has led to political tensions in recent years. This summary analyzes the ideological differences between the two and explores their effect on the U.S. electoral college system. Populist politicians often call for a government controlled by the people, while nationalist politicians prioritize the country's interests. The growing trend towards global trade and economies has pushed these ideologies together. In America, the 2016 presidential election exposed schisms and raised questions about the electoral college system. The system is based on electors who vote for the president. It is a dated system that gives some states a disproportionate amount of influence and discourages voter participation. However, there is hope that recent elections show more Americans are embracing civic engagement. As we wrap up the summary of How to Scheme Your Life, it's evident that the authors have equipped readers with valuable insights and easy-to-follow guidelines to enrich several aspects of their lives. From learning about the intricacies of wine tasting to managing finances and investments, traveling smarter, and improving career prospects, this book provides a wealth of knowledge. The overarching message is to empower individuals with practical skills and understanding, enabling them to make better informed decisions and lead more fulfilling lives. So, embark on your journey to mastering complexities with this book as your go-to guide.